welcome to Mind Your Business, a channel where we are in a everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. Well, Ashley is just bad mind and bad vibes. And her little husband, he reminds you of like when those little short, you know, those little small dogs, like a Jack Russell or something. You know, you look and you think, oh, cute, but just yapping all the time, just little angry dogs. Just chill out. And I feel like it's all because of Ashley. She put a battery in his back and didn't need to. And it's, it's things like this that I think can cause bigger issues. You know, like unnecessary beef and people getting hurt and harmed for no apparent reason and threats being made. And apparently threats were definitely made about, you know, handling situations. So again, this is all based on exaggerated storytelling because if you watch it back, it wasn't quite as Ashley told it. But anyway, people, let's get into it. Well, guys, people, my inquisitive crew, let's talk about Love and Marriage DC. So, of course, for this episode, we pick up with the ladies, Irena, Winter and Ashley. Because at the last episode, they were out eating, you know, and Winter was inviting them out on the trip. So, basically, we pick up with them, both Irena and Winter, basically trying to convince Bad Vibes Ashley to go on this, this Winter Wonderland trip that Winter's been organising for Valentine's. You know, but I feel like she's just so bad vibes. Like, Winter wants to include everybody. She said that she didn't want anybody to be excluded, so she's extended the invite to everybody, which is fine. But, of course, Ashley is all, well, well I don't like the petties. I don't like them, blah, blah, blah. She's just bad vibes. Uh, Irena mentions, you know, didn't Joy reach out to you? And then she admits, yeah? After going on, like, she's the one trying to do olive branches and she's hard done by her. She admits that, yes, Joy did reach out to her. Now, we really know this because... If you've been watching the show, Joy already told Irena that she reached out to her and they showed a picture of the text. So in this scene, you've got Ashley reading out the text and she has a problem with the text. She's reading it with attitude, she's complaining about it being too formal, like she's her, her boss and all this bullshit. I'm just like, just shut up and grow up, woman, because she reached out to you trying to be mature, saying that, you know, you guys are meant to be role models for love and things like that. I felt like what she said was quite fine. You might feel like it was not as personal, but maybe because she's not really feeling it. So she's just keeping it cordial, isn't it? She's trying to say, let's be cordial. I just think Ashley is just bad vibes. She just needs to sort her life out. Like, how can you just be so miserable? I feel like she's just not happy with her life and she needs to look into that. But she does, you know, she's a self-confessed mean girl. So I feel like if that's how you you, you look at yourself, then, yeah, you're just full of bad vibes. You're just full of bad vibes and you, you seem to be owning that you're full of bad vibes. I don't know who wants to be around her and why, because she's full of bad vibes. Anyway, next we see Cliff and Joy talking about, you know, enjoying having the Tylers over, which was a fun scene. I felt like that was, that was like a really cute couple moment with the Tylers and the Petties. Like, they, 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 they were cracking me up. It was good vibes. And, of course, they're also talking about the fact that, you know, they've been invited to this Winter Wonderland weekender. And are obviously hesitant about, you know, being around Bad Vibes Ashley and Crick. I can understand that because think about it, you know, Joy got kicked out of the Christmas Eve Eve party and then just at the uh, game the other day in the suite, both of them were kicked out by Ashley. Um, so, of course, I would be apprehensive too. And they, you know, admit that the only reason why they're really going along is because of the Tylers and, they, you know, they're good vibes with the Tylers. Um, so that's really the reason why they're going along. So I could understand their hesitancy. Anyway, we also we then see Quick and Ashley, you know, the Silvers packing up for the on this trip as well. They're talking about they're going to ignore the petties. You know, the petties are not in their world, essentially. They, you know, they don't care about them. They don't exist to them. But yet they spend the whole time chatting rubbish about them. I'm just like, really? Mm -hmm. You know, um, Ashley is still telling her Jack and Norrie stories about how the altercation with Cliff went. She fails to inform her husband that she was the one who came up and was screaming up in his face, waving her fingers around in his face, and that he kind of just pushed his head forward to ask, well, I don't know what your, what your problem is. And somehow that means that, you know, he's being aggressive and he's in her face, and he, she's being disrespectful about him. And, you know, obviously Quick wasn't there, so he doesn't know. He's just going off of what his wife told him. But I'm like, Quick, you need to hold her accountable, but, but I think he doesn't do that because... I feel like she does kind of bully him. I don't know. I just feel like he's, he's getting bullied at home. He's acting like he's a tough guy. But clearly, you're not that tough because at one point it did seem like he was thinking, OK, um, will we be putting out olive branches? Because he did say to her, so what if they want to have a conversation? Are we having a conversation with them or not? She was like, I'm not talking to, the, to any of them. I'm not talking to none of them. I'm not talking to her. I'm not talking to him. So I'm just like, yeah, acting like a spoiled child. And he was just like, 
the scared parent, you know, the, those parents that you got that don't know how to control their children. And so their children run rings around them and the children is the, the child is the boss. That's what it reminded me of in that situation. Just watching that. It was like she was just like, well, no. So he would just he just backed down was like, OK, fine, fine, fine. He wants to support his wife, which I get wants to support your wife. But sometimes supporting your wife also means holding her accountable for her ridiculous bad vibes behavior quick. Anyway, um, you see, we also see Irena packing up as well. And they're talking about the whole mix up and how do you think it's going to go? Jamie's quite honest. He's just like, yeah, I think it's going to be a bit of a shit show. Irena's trying to be um, quite more positive. And then she also let Jamie know that, you know, Ashley told her that Prick was a bit upset that Jamie didn't get involved in the mix up between her and Cliff. And he's like, what do you mean? He sees it like, well, Ashley was out of order. And Cliff handled it very well. So he didn't see anything. It wasn't like Cliff is trying to lick her down or something like that. So he did step in. So it's just nonsense. But I'm like, if this is the case, why hasn't Quick, or why haven't they shown Quick talking to Jamie? Because I'm pretty sure Jamie would have said to him, it's not how you think it was, bruv. Like, it really wasn't how you think it was. But I'm also glad that Jamie said to Irena, are you going to tell your friend that she was in the wrong? Are you going to hold her accountable? So I'm looking forward to seeing that happen with Irena and Ashley next week. Anyway, Everybody comes to Tyler's house to leave, apart from the petties. The petties are coming along on the trip, but they're making their own way. I don't really blame them. They've all bundled into the bus and they're on their way. On their way up there, they're playing like, you know, truth or dare and things like that. You know, talking about sex and different stuff. So, you know, quick admitting that, yes, he does eat Ashley's booty. Then checking if all the men do on the bus. And then um, someone else did. I think it was quick did Jamie's kiss Irena. I'm thinking, please, these two are a couple. I'm sure they kiss each other. So anyway, that happened. And then there was a truth or dare question and Irena asked Ashley, is it true that does she really not like the petties is what she asked her, you know, does she really have an issue with the petties? And she was like, well, you know, she did like Joy, but she really, really doesn't like um, Cliff. And then she calls him a bitch once again, being very disrespectful. Now, Ashley being the messy bee that she is, she turns around and asks Shirella, well, you know, do you like the petties? So I feel like she's looking for a a petty hate train alliance. This is what it was given to me. And Shirella, I just felt like she should have just been quiet because she was like, well, I don't really like the lies. I don't really know them. You know, I don't really know them like that, but I just don't like the lies. I don't like the character, um, you know, because obviously Joy has made it quite plain that she doesn't really feel Shirella's husband black because they've done music together. They've had their own issues. But what I do respect about Black, at least, is like I felt like Black made the point of saying, you know, he doesn't have anything against them whatsoever. But, you know, he just said that basically, you know, if she wants to talk about it, talk about what happened with them with their music or whatever happened, you know, then, then he would be up for that. But I feel like Ashley was looking for looking to stir the pot and really wanted to have a, a petty hatred going on so she could, you know, have an alliance. I feel like because she's I feel like because she's a true mean girl, she wanted to have an alliance, you know, like in the mean girls, they like to have uh, people behind them, the little minions that they can then talk shit with about the person that is now their target and to me the petties are her target so she was trying to get the duncans on board with her petty hate train is what it was given to me so i'm glad that black was like you know he ain't really you know he doesn't really have an issue like that but if they want to clear the air they will but other than that he doesn't really want to talk about joy and i thought good just stay out of all the nonsense anyway they all get there after their four-hour trip um everyone's you know tired and hungry they enter into the house and they've got some chefs down there i did notice that the chefs are white i was like where are the black chefs in this area where the hell are they why is there no black chefs in the building anyway they basically you know say their hellos and looking forward to having their food but then they're going to go off and look for their rooms whilst that's happening we see joy and clifton they are arriving at their separate accommodation which i don't blame them because they made sure to secure themselves a separate accommodation so they didn't have to be in the house of all nonsense and i don't blame them so they go in to stay at their hotel. They stay settled down a little, drop their bits off. And it did crack me up because they re really had to get the Bible out <laughs> and say a little prayer before they headed over to the house for dinner because they know they're walking into the evil wrath of Ashley. <laughs> I was like, it's not their pities with the Bible. They're putting on their prayers. They're like, please cover us while we are going into this madness. That made me chuckle. Anyway, because <clears throat> I'm like, yep. I don't blame you, people. Yeah, because Ashley's given off very bad vibes, very bad mind, bad vibes person. What is that about? Anyway, everyone's starting to have dinner, you know, having a little chat. Winter's talking about how her and Yusha met and it was through Shirella and Black and, um, you know, people trying to say that they need to smash. And obviously she's got her boundaries, she's got her things set, so she ain't trying to hear any more of that. Then um, Joy and Clifton arrive 
uh, they walk in, they greet everybody as they do. I love that, you know, Joy walked in and was like, oh, hi, black people. You know, she was all very cordial, upbeat. They both were upbeat. Went around to say hello to everyone. Said hello to the Tyler's first, obviously. Said hello. And then you've got Clifton went round and said hello to the guys. As in, you know, he spoke to Jamie. Then he went to go and dab up um, Black. And then he went to go and dab up the little Jack Russell DJ Quick. But he was just rude. He just, he was just like, he he refused to dab him. And said, yeah, 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 we'll rap later. So Clifton's like, oh, is that how it is? And he's like, yeah, that's how it is. It's like, you are not a gangster, brother. Just sit down. No one ain't scared of you and your little squawky self. No one's scared. Just sit down. He just gives me very... Short man syndrome, like I said, hence why I call him a little Jack Russell, because he's giving me that little cute dog, but just yap, 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 just, just pipe down, pipe down. Anywho, that to me was just rude. And that was just literally how it was left off. So you can see how it's going to be, because the energy definitely shifted. Like Joy and Cliff was, Clifton were saying in the confessionals, you know, you could, you could cut the energy with, um, you could touch, you could cut the tension with a knife. So you could see that it was very tense in there. You've got bad vibes actually saying things like, oh, they're joining us for dinner. It's like, well, they're, they're invited to trip, so yes. She's just bad vibes. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week. Um, cause it looks like Joy and Black might get into it as well. I do feel like an intervention is needed for this group of um, couples, because obviously it is love and marriage, and uh, the whole premise usually is about friendships and seeing how that all unfolds. But at the moment, I feel like everyone's frenemies. You know, you've got Joy and Clifton, who obviously um, are not getting along with the Silvers, and that's mostly due to Ashley's fault. Um, then you've got Joy not getting along with Black. And then, you know, as a by part of that is also Shirella, because that's his wife. But I feel like it would be good if they could just be at least cordial and keep it simple. But yeah, and then obviously, you know, now you've got the Tylers, who are actually in real life not on good terms with the Silvers currently. And they started off as good friends. So I feel like a, a massive intervention is needed. Carlos needs to get this sorted out. And speaking of Carlos, I did definitely check out his recap with Cliff and Joy, which had me cracking up. Why is, why is Clifton asking if there's enough money in the budget for an exorcism? <laughs> and, and Joy's talking about, yeah, we need to get rid of the demons. I'm like, yes, they are hilarious. And they are definitely on their petty flow. <laughs> check it out but real talk i really believe that ashley is jealous of joy because i feel like joy exudes this just you know happy vibe like i feel like she's happy with herself she's content and maybe she's not as rich as ashley may be or whatever because she's calling her a karaoke singer but i feel like she's happy with herself she's in a place of peace in a place of peace with her man um but i feel like she purposely told on their secret because she didn't want them to get the limelight of that love of seeing their actual wedding or whatever they were planning to recreate for the show because they know they know that they have a bit of a fan base from Ready to Love. So once again, it's just Ashley being bad vibes and bad mind. And Joya shouldn't have obviously told her, but I think it's interesting now, particularly when you've got Ashley talking about, yeah, her and Joya were fine. They were hanging out before. You, know, you were hanging out until you betrayed her trust. It's as simple as that. And from that one's bitten twice shy, ain't it? I sight go. And what's really sad about the situation is that, you know, Clifton and little fun size was quite fine. Little fun size Jack Russell were quite fine at one point. You know, you could see when he went to his wrestling thing, they got along quite fine. So there's no real issue, but it's because he just won't check his wife. And I get trying to be there for your wife, but they get to a point where you got to sweet out. And then hearing about this phone call, Clifton let it be known that has he put on the phone. Before he put the phone, he said he's gonna it's gonna get handled. So Clifton is talking about, did he just finish watching Power? <laughs> like, exactly. What's all this gangster shit? You're on a reality show. Learn to use your mouth and chop it up and let's, let's move on. Like, it's not that serious. Like, he's just out here embarrassing himself and Ashley is the cause of it all. I feel like Carlos was, it was still airing on the side of Ashley's side a little bit in the way that he was asking some of the questions. Like, you know... He, he brought up the whole jealousy situation and Clifton said that, you know, he didn't say the words jealous, which is true. If you watch it, it was actually quick that said it. But then he asks his, um, Joy, what do you think the problem is? And Joy says, yeah, I think she's jealous. But she says she thinks she's jealous that she has a relationship with Raina and that she's got the fans that kind of like her. Whereas Ashley, I think she wants to come in and try and be Neely Leaks. And it doesn't help that Carlos try to say that, oh, well, she rem reminds her of new leaks i'm like don't try it he said that when he had them on um his recap and i was like 
colours, please. Stop bigging up her head. She's nothing like the Elix. I'm sorry. She just gives very bad vibes, mean vibes. So, no, that's a reach there. Joy also reveals that Ashley was in a group text with her and she referred to herself as the Kenya Moore Nini Leaks of the show. Again, which explains her behaviour, where she thinks that this is the way to go about it. But go and watch them back and you'll see that this is not how Kenya and Nini flex. It didn't just come off as mean straight away. Um, Kenya is usually responding to people and Nini just throws a shade here and there. But, you know, I would usually build a little bit of rapport with you. So, no, you're not. You're not doing any of it. She really feels like the show is all about her. And I feel like because there's other people like the Petties who have got fan base from Ready to Love and other areas, it's, you know, going to diminish her her shine. She doesn't seem like one of those people who are happy to fix your fellow queen's crown. She's too busy, ready to rip it off your damn head. Clifton is hilarious. We've seen more of this <laughs> this shade that him and his wife are giving on the Carlos King show because when Carlos asked him about, you know... Was he surprised that when he went to the trip and he went to dab up quick that he kind of ignored him? <laughs> he was like, well, you know, the permission slip needs to get signed at least a week in advance. We know that, you know, had he dabbed her, had he dabbed him, he would have got beaten up at home. <laughs> Man, it's hilarious. And I find it so funny because, like I said before, you know, I feel like Crick would be okay with Clifton. It's just that his wife doesn't want any peace so therefore he is running behind his wife hence why he asks are we okay with them like are you okay if they want to have a conversation and she was like no so he was like oh okay no it is it's hilarious also side note i do think it's interesting now that joy seems to have woken up to uh carmen because carmen did go on the podcast with um ashley and winter and was talking about how joy wanted her to come for ashley and all this kind of stuff I always looked at Carmen with the side eye and didn't like how friendly she was with Clifton. And also, I did feel like she did want a spot on the show, so it's not surprising that they're not speaking anymore. I think it's interesting that Joy thinks she's a clout tracer now and that she kind of severed ties with her from last year. Clifton wasn't as quick to respond to the question, so, <laughs> so Joy made sure she answered that one. But it doesn't surprise me. If you ever watched Really Love, then you'll know that um, I would have been side eyeing coming from the get-go tell you what's interesting to see though is just how mature the petties are because they understand that they're all on the show and that they have to be cordial whereas ashley just wants the show to be all about her and she's acting like a sport brat a child anyway people what do you think of the show let me know your thoughts below yes so thanks for watching that don't forget to subscribe like comment share and hit that notification bell so you know when i am uploading some more of people's business so until then my nosy people stay blessed